Guys, we are bringing it back. Light the comment section up. Get down in the comments and predict the score for this Sunday's game against the Los Angeles Chargers. And hey, if you're the first person to predict the correct score and winner without editing your comments, none of that fugazi nonsense, no cheating, no shysters, I will personally Venmo you $25. I might steal $25 bucks from my producer. He doesn't know that. He just heard it. But hey, in today's show, we got some big stuff to get into. Russell Wilson trade rumors. I know you guys want to talk about that. Giants legend Carl Banks also ripped Joe Judge and the Giants organization. So let's get into it. New York Giants fans, what is going on? I am your host, Marshall Green, and you are watching New York Giants Now by Chat Sports. And let's get right into it. Some news came out today on the Twitter sphere that Russell Wilson would approve three teams to waive his no trade clause, and one of those teams being the New York football giants last week we did a video about russell wilson trade rumors you guys got in the comments and but marshall we have no cap space how are we going to do that russell wilson he wouldn't want to come play for the giants well you're hearing it from the horse's mouth right now russell wilson according to jordan schultz would waive his no trade clause to play for the new york giants and i think this is something that you absolutely have to look into Russ, he's 33 years old, has at least five great years left, and with the way quarterbacks are aging in the NFL, maybe he has more than that. But look, you don't know where we stand and what Daniel Jones is going to be. You have two first-round draft picks coming up. You have five picks in the top 75, so you have the premium draft assets to make a Russell Wilson trade. It just really matters if Dave Gettleman or whoever the new GM is going to be if they want to pull the trigger on that move. But I'm curious, if you were the general manager for the New York Giants, would you trade for Russell Wilson? Do you want to trade for Russell Wilson, or do you want to stick it out with Daniel Jones? Get down in the comments for me. Type T for trade or type P for pass. Some more NFL news to get to. Zach Cunningham has been released by the Houston Texans. Rappaport was on it first. There were a lot of reasons the Texans tried to make it work with Zach Cunningham, who the previous regime gave a four-year, $58 million contract to. It didn't happen. Now the team has a $12.8 million cap hit next year. So much to fix and get past in Houston. Look, if you're upset about being a Giants fan, remember, you could always be a Houston Texan fan. Field Yates, he then described what it would take for a team to sign him or pick him up off waivers. He said this, the Texans restructured Zach Cunningham's contract this offseason, meaning a team trying to claim him would inherit just 275 k of a cap hit for the rest of the 2021 NFL season. The 26-year-old linebacker has no guarantees as of now for 2022, making him even more likely to find a team via waivers. Cunningham, he was kind of a problem in the locker room for Houston this past, that, this past year. He missed a COVID test. He's had some tr uh, trouble with the coaching staff. He just really hasn't fit in all that well with the new regime in Houston. And they cut bait. They cut their losses, and now he will be subject to waivers. And if he clears that, he will be a free agent which the Giants could sign. Maybe they pick him up on waivers, but let me know what you would do if you were the New York Giants general manager. Get in the comments, be active for me. Should the Giants sign Zach Cunningham? You could say the season's lost at this point, you're four and eight, but hey, maybe Cunningham comes in, pr pr proves that he's still a really good linebacker in the NFL, and maybe you keep him around for next year, but get your votes in, Y for yes or N for no. So far this season, Zach Cunningham, his numbers are down a pretty good bit compared to the previous two seasons, which we'll show you in just a second. 67 tackles, four tackles for loss, zero sacks, and th three pass breakups. He's not the best pass coverage linebacker, but he can get into a couple passing lanes and be disruptive because he is a big, long athlete. And then what he did in 2019 and 2020, two of the best linebacker seasons that you will see from a guy. Two seasons, 306 tackles. That's incredible. Jalen Smith, he could never. He has 18 tackles for loss, five sacks, and four pass breakups. One thing I like about Zach Cunningham, he's a guy that can come off the edge and also be a pass rusher. I think he would really fit in into this Patrick Graham defense. He struggled led this past year in Houston when they switched to that 4-3 Tampa 2 style of defense. He is a 3-4 inside linebacker, and I think he would thrive with the New York Giants, but who knows if they'll make a move. The season may be lost. I know a lot of you guys are saying they don't have the cap space to do it, but look, if the Giants sign Zach Cunningham, we will be breaking it down on this channel because we react to news, trade rumors, signings, 
anything surrounding the New York Giants, we are breaking it down on this channel. We just passed over 3,100 subscribers, so I want to thank all of you that have hit that big red button, and let's continue to grow. Let's get to 4,000 subscribers ASAP. I want to continue to do more videos on the Giants, and the only way that happens is we got to get more subscribers because those are the rules here at Chat Sports. So if you love the Giants and are looking for a one-stop shop for Giants news and rumors, this is your place, so go hit that big red button. Over the cap, they broke down what it would take and what the ramifications would be for a team that signs Zach Cunningham. They had this to say. Cunningham will now go through waivers. The contract is very claimable for 2021 with 422000 remaining in salary plus per game roster bonuses for the remainder of the season. However, the contract does include a $10 million injury guarantee for 2022, which also vests to a full guarantee on the fifth day of the 2022 league year. The injury guarantee will likely scare some teams off making a claim. If Cunningham clears waivers, he will become a street free agent with the ability to sign with any of the other 31 teams in the National Football League. Right now, the Giants, they have $2.59 million in cap space, so they could sign him this year. The cap hit is very, very low. It would not affect the Giants' cap. Next year, that might run into a problem. But look, if he comes in and balls out and becomes a tackling machine that he is known as around the NFL, that's a guy that you want on your roster and would be worth paying the money. The Giants, they are currently seventh in the waiver order, so maybe if he falls to the seventh spot, the Giants could claim him and pick him up. The previous regime for the New York Giants, Jerry Reese, the GM, he was really high on Zach Cunningham in the 2017 NFL Draft. There are still some Reese disciples inside the building, so I know they are having these conversations right now if they should sign the former Houston Texan linebacker, and I think it's a conversation that has to be had. Just because you're 4-8 and eight doesn't mean you should stop trying to build the roster and get the best players on the football field. And that's one thing I will give Dave Gettleman credit for. When seasons have been lost since he's taken over in 2018, he has always done his best job, which isn't great, to get the best players on the roster, no matter the record of the New York Giants. I want to give a shout out to our proud sportsbook partner and sponsor of today's show, BetUS. If you head over to chatsports.com slash bet and use the promo code chat125, you will receive a 125% deposit bonus when you deposit 100 bucks. So if you deposit $100, that 125% deposit bonus for all you people that are bad at math and salary cap nerds, you will have 225 bucks in your account to bet with. And maybe you want to bet on the Giants this week. Maybe a money line bet. Maybe you think Jake Fromm, with his first start under Sentinel, will be able to get the Giants a W. Currently, the Giants are 10.5 point dogs, and the over-under is at 44. If I was betting on this game, I would probably lean towards the under. I think the Giants are once again going to struggle to score points because when you're on your third quarterback and your second offensive coordinator and the offensive line you're at, it's always going to be tough to score points. But if you want that deal, go to chatsports.com slash bet and use the promo code chat125 to receive a 125% deposit bonus. When I was scrolling on Twitter this morning, doing my daily Giants gathering of news and rumors, I saw an interesting article about Carl Banks, who sat down and did an interview with New York radio guy, and he had some interesting things to say about Joe Judge, Saquon Barkley, the current state of the New York Giants franchise. So we'll pull some quotes up. We'll hit those the rest of the show. I think these are really interesting things and telling things that you have to get into, because Carl Banks, he is a Giants legend and he is also a big Giants fan and has worked for the New York Giants so he usually doesn't have anything bad to say about him but this is what he said about Joe Judge and the state of the New York Giants my wish and I'm not telling the fans I'm telling the players and coaches figure it the eh out it is hard to be this bad that's why I say it is broken he then went on to talk about Joe Judge and he said this there is no excuse to have delay of games after delay of games. There is no excuse for taking a sack and having no sense of urgency to get back in the huddle to get the next playoff. This operation is broken. There is a lot that has to change. Operationally, he's got a lot to fix. These delay of game calls, the planning of how to operate in certain situations, it just seems that they miss it every single week. And I think Carl Banks is hitting it right on the head. But this was the most telling thing about it. It's one thing for me, this dumb YouTuber, 
to criticize the New York Giants and to criticize Joe Judge in the current state and, you know, say all these things about headsets and all whatnot. But when it's Carl Banks, a two-time Super Bowl champion, a New York football Giants legend, someone that actually bleeds New York Giants blue, it is not a good sign for the New York Giants. The way he sounded off, and I can't wait for you guys to see the rest of these quotes. I think they're really, really telling. It is not good when someone that embodies what it means to be a New York football giant absolutely thrashes the organization. But look, I thought he had some fair points about Joe Judge. He did say that he thinks he would be the guy, but I want you to get your votes in. Joe Judge, who knows if he'll be back for a third season. The previous two head coaches for the New York Giants, they were axed after two years. And with a new GM coming in, I don't think it's fair for the Giants organization to just thrust Joe Judge on that guy. So who knows if he'll be back, but I want to hear what you have to say. Should the Giants bring Joe Judge back next year? Do you think they should? Type B for bring back, or if you want him gone, type F for fire. Carl Banks, he also had some choice words about the guy that was touched by the hand of God, Saquon Barkley. He said this, when you have Saquon Barkley and you hit him in the hands twice, with two passes to extend drives, and it just doesn't happen like it doesn't even matter. It's not a bonus to catch footballs. You were and are a gifted player. You are expected to make those plays. It's not okay when you don't. When there are plays to be made, make the play. Be, intentional, be intentional about your assignment. Value every possession like you won't get another one because you don't when you don't execute. Just know the assignment. Look, I think he also is really, really right about Saquon Barkley. He knows what it takes to be a good running back in the NFL. He played linebacker. He went up against some of the best running backs in NFL history. And I'm kind of running thin with my patience on Saquon Barkley. It just seems like every week he always has just that more. You, he leaves you with wanting more. Saquon Barkley has not, outside of his rookie year, lived up to the hype of being the second overall pick in the NFL draft. Last week, 11 carries for 55 yards. Wow, five yards per carry. No, he had one carry for 23 yards, and the rest of his carries, they were about one or two yards a pop, and that's just who Saquon Barkley is. So sound off for me. Was it fair for Carl Banks to call out Saquon Barkley, Joe Judge, and the New York Giants. If you think it was, go down in the comments and type your one for yes. Or if not, go down in the comments and type your two for no. And then guys, if you want to follow me on Twitter, I am tweeting about the Giants all day, every day. And I want you guys to be a part of the Twitter family that we're growing over there. I only want my followers to be New York Giants fans. So if you're a Chargers fan watching this video, looking for a preview, don't follow me on Twitter because I'll block you. Only New York Giants fans, hit me up, send me a, give me a follow, and send me a DM so I know you came from this video.